Hi, I want to talk to you about a very important problem we have with patients is patients are over relying on thyroid hormones. But once they have had the COVID or had a vaccine of COVID, we have a lot of cases called hyperthyroidism and COVID. These post-COVID hyperthyroidism can also can be caused by the vaccine, make that people don't feel well. They are, because of the COVID, uh, not in a good situation, they feel fatigue. And then because they have had so much good results with thyroid hormones, they keep on increasing the thyroid hormone dose and they come in such intense catabolism that they don't recognize. They, they break down their body because when you have too much thyroid hormone, you break down your muscles, you consume your hormones, and so they have to take much more other hormones and, and nothing works. They get a kick with in, each time they increase the thyroid hormones for, for about two or three days where they have more energy and then it's worse afterwards. And when one of the good ways to detect this excess thyroid hormone situation is first, the dose that the patient takes is enormous. Second, there's a, a, a little um, trembling of the fingers and then the heart beats very strongly. You can feel the pulse also strongly beaten, quick and hard. And then typically on the upper chest, there is um, a wet skin because there's too much transpiration. And here is uh, on the same time, these patients have some um, signs that they are in hypothyroid. They have cold hands. They can have a cold nose and they feel this morning fatigue, etc because they have not slept well, but they don't sleep well because they have just too much thyroid hormones that keeps them awake. And I'm very worried about this case because these patients, because they had so much good results with thyroid hormones, think they have to increase the thyroid hormones and they have to stop the thyroid hormones for several days, sometimes a week, and then start again on a much lower dose that is often a fourth of what they were taking before. So really think about this because if you take too much thyroid hormones, you might get a kick for two or three days, but you consume so much the other hormones that nothing of your treatment really works again. And, and the doctors don't know how to solve it. But the solution is simple. Take, stop the thyroid hormones for a week and take much less thyroid hormones. And then we can balance the other hormones much better so you feel better. So typically how these patients look like when they have too much thyroid hormones in this post-COVID period is that they begin to bend over their back more and more. They become to prematurely age because they get osteoporosis if this is for prolonged months and then maybe a year in some patients. And you, I really warn you, don't prematurely age unnecessarily because you just are over relying on thyroid hormones while there's so much other hormones that can help you and that need to help you, but they won't work if you take too much thyroid hormones. Now I have something really important to do. If you have this problem of what I could call dysteroidea because of COVID, of non-COVID, you don't respond for your thyroid preparation as well as before and, and some with a lot of abnormal signs that uh, are also signs of excess, please consult a competent doctor. You can find a competent doctor through internet, people who have a reputation of working in with several hormones, including the thyroid hormone. But it's physically, when you see such a, a physician, he will ask lab tests that are really fundamental here, but also do a clinical examination, a physical exam. He will physically examine you, not just blood pressure and weight. That's not enough. The blood pressure is very, uh, is high in the systolic and the diastolic, the lower blood pressure is very low, so it's a big difference, but that's not enough. You really need to have a, a doctor who knows about the physical signs of hormone deficiencies and excess because he can help you much better. Because it's often at the physical exam that you see the difference and, and what is exactly the most important in you, the hypothyroidism in your hands and your feet or globally your body is under an intense breakdown due to hypothyroidism. This you see at physical examination. So if you have a physical examination that is long enough and very tough, you probably have the good doctor. Thank you for your attention.